Welcome to Social Media Decoded Instagram. Today we'll be talking to you about one of the most up and coming apps, which is Instagram, kind of second to Facebook. So my name's Alexa and I'm on the training team. I'm Jojo and I'm on the social media team. So let's dive into Instagram. So what is it? So it's kind of like Facebook. It's a social app that users can use to engage with their friends and their family and also with anonymous users kind of across the internet and around the world, which makes it one of the best resources for a pure romance business and a pure romance consultant just like you. So the reason why we're prioritizing it as one of the top apps to use is because there's over 800 million users. So of those users, 400 million users use Instagram stories. So Instagram stories is a lot like Snapchat. And Snapchat is that ability to share kind of a 24 hour story that goes away within a, just a limited period of time. Time. And now Instagram is kind of taking over and becoming the lead of that. So we'll be talking to you about that in a separate video, so be sure to check that out. But the other things that you guys should know is that about 68% of the uh, Instagram users are female, which is a big audience for Pure Romance and who we often sell our products to. And also, Instagram videos, the videos that you'll post on your page, get two times the engagement of photos. So when you're talking about your business or you're kind of having a conversation with someone or maybe even talking about a mild product that you can share on your Instagram page, know that you'll have about double the views of just a photo. So there's a lot of variations of things that you can do in order to talk about your business so that you're engaging with your users in a natural way and it makes it a really effective tool for your business. So tell me about kind of like, what is it about social media and talking about products? Like what is it, why are we value it so much? So obviously you can talk about products on social media, but one thing to remember is people don't buy products, they buy people. So oh, if yeah. you are posting your, about yourself, about your daily life, your interests, your hobbies, that's gonna get more of a connection with people than just posting about here's this awesome product. You have to do it in a way that creates a connection rather than just I'm trying to sell you something. Yeah, exactly. And one of the things that we do at Pure Romance and we prioritize as consultants is that we're building authentic relationships. Mm -hmm. We're in the relationship business. So it's important that we build those relationships in an authentic way. And that's how Instagram and Facebook and other social media kind of approaches can help you do that. And I think one of the big things that we need to understand is that it takes consumers two tenths of a second to form an impression of you as soon as they land on your page. So that's kind of why we're here today is to walk you through how to build your Instagram page, what exactly we're gonna do uh, in terms of setting it up, how you can best use it, and what kind of content you can post in order to make it really effective for your pure romance business. So we're gonna start kind of with setting up your yeah. Instagram and creating a bio. So first things first, you need to download the app to create your Instagram. Okay. So this is super easy. It can be just be done on your phone. Um, you can use Instagram on your on your computer if you'd like, but really it's a mobile application. Yeah. So create download the app and it's super easy from there to create your Instagram. And I think it's a little bit more user friendly to use on your phone too, because I can you even post photos on from your computer? No. I think you can go on and scroll and like things you from can, your yeah. computer, but it really truly lives on your mobile device. And then from there, um, our other tip is, number one, make sure you have a public Instagram because okay. if you're private, then people aren't gonna be able to find you. When we go in later to talk about hashtags and some other things mm -hmm. that make you discoverable, um, it, it won't really work for you. Yeah. So make sure that you have a public account so that people can find you and engage with you. And then also creating a business account is really gonna be helpful to you. Um, so you can use the different features that Instagram has like insights. So that way you can see um, what people are engaging the most with you, the best times of day to post, when your followers are online, what your followers want to see from you. So that's a really important feature that you yeah. should look into doing it. Absolutely, and you can check out this slide for exactly how to set up your business account on Instagram and use those social insights to tell mm -hmm. you, you know, what do my viewers like most? Am I, do they like posts about product, posts about me myself at parties, posts about my team, and you'll start to kind of see a trend exactly. and eventually pick up and really become, become an Instagram professional. Yeah. Okay, so I have my Instagram created and I'm getting ready to get started and get dive into it. Like, what do I do next? So the next thing you wanna do is you really want to define your brand, define your voice, and that is gonna be done through your bio. That's the first thing that people are gonna see um, when they look at your Instagram is they're gonna see who are you, what are you, 
doing on Instagram? Why, why should they follow you? So um, explain who you are. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you um, really let your personality shine, shine through, mm -hmm. but also keep it short and sweet. You don't have much room. I think about 150 characters. Yeah, so, so much. Yeah, so <laughs> um, utilize emojis um, to show your personality off and um, keep it simple, yeah. right? I think mm -hmm. that's kind of, you want to make sure that your landing page or your profile in and yeah. of itself, like we're going to talk about content in a little right. bit, but you just want to make sure even just your profile page is yeah. super appealing. Right. So there's this really cool trick that you can do. So if you want to create an Instagram bio like Cassie Bybee has here, it's super simple. Yeah. So create your fun little statements about yourself in a notes app that's on your phone. And what you want to do is just make sure you indent so that everything, all those little fun pieces of information and, and you can decide to use emojis like she did and you just bump them down so that you start to have these little facts about yourself that are stacked. And then you copy and paste everything from that note and drop it right into the Instagram bio when you're editing your bio on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So if you were to try and do this only within your Instagram app and instead of in the note, um, it, what would happen is it would save and everything would kind of just run on mm -hmm. instead of having this cool kind of stack. Yeah, uh, it's easier to feature. read, yeah. yeah, list everything out. People can really tell um, who you are and what your interests are. And then also um, make sure that you're including the link to your website. Yes, that's huge. That's why people, we, we, you want people to follow you. That's what, why we're showing you Instagram mm -hmm. is to use it to um, utilize your business and really put, you know, get the sale. Yeah. Um, so make sure that people are able to access your, your um, business profile. And we'll chat about that a little bit later. So when things, in, in terms of how do people land on it? So how do people get directed there? You're going to use that all within your caption. Yeah. Uh, and then it's just somewhere else that your link will exist on the interwebs when you start to share everything and, and do it all publicly so that people can connect with you. So take every opportunity and every post to make sure that you're directing to that link. Um, and that's why we're, we're telling you to put it right here in your bio, because that's one of the simplest ways to maximize your business on Instagram. And also just a note for when we talk about captions, um, if you post a link in your caption, it's not clickable. Oh, so yeah. yeah, so that's important to note too. So the only link that's clickable on your profile is gonna be the link in your bio. Perfect. Yeah. So next um, is, your, is your profile picture. That's gonna be what people see when you comment on things, when you come up on the explore page. So you wanna have a profile picture that shows who you are. Use a clean photo, a headshot maybe, something fun and inviting that, show, that really shows off your personality. Yeah, and I would totally suggest that you keep it from about the shoulders up, so it's more like a face shot or a head shot of you, uh, just so that they can see exactly who you are when they're interacting with you, uh, and start to connect your profile photo to comments, to images, to things that you share. Also on your bio, or on your profile page, you can have different buttons so that people can easily connect with you. So you can put your email in there, your phone number, um, so people can click email or con contact and it will automatically direct you to your email or your phone number so they can easily get in contact with you. Cool. So it's just kind of a tool that lives on your Instagram page, it sounds like, mm -hmm. so that instead of just clicking your website, which they can do straight from your bio, they can click these buttons so that they can contact you directly and it'll just populate mm -hmm. like your email or your cell phone number yeah. or something Whatever like that. Whatever you're comfortable with putting in. If you don't want to put your phone number, then Mm -hmm. on a public profile, then you don't have to do that. That's a cool try. Yeah. Well, so I think it isn't uh, Facebook, don't they have a relationship with mm -hmm. Instagram? Yes. So how can I, is it like there an option to connect my Instagram to my Facebook? Yes, absolutely, oh. yeah. So you can easily, you can easily connect your Facebook. Um, you can just go to your settings and then you can go to linked accounts and then it will automatically connect. You have to sign into your Facebook from there and then it will automatically connect to your Facebook and your Instagram. All right, so in terms of content, we have to talk to you a little bit about what's important and what you include on your page. So a lot of the things that you wanna see are color, brightness, uh, depth, yeah. picture angles. So it kind of goes beyond just a photo. If you just think of a photo of kind of uh, everything in one picture and there's not really a, something to focus in on, those are those key things that you wanna focus on. And today, your, your iPhones are a tool that you can use, like they have portrait mode on them or like, other phones have great quality cameras. So really use that to your advantage. And people wanna see photos that 
Um, they can tell what's happening in the picture. They can see what's happening in the picture. Mm -hmm. it, not like not blurry. Yeah. Like, that's so important to have content that looks appealing to the eye. And even if you don't have a phone that has those features, you can always download an app. So yeah. that's something we'll touch on. There's apps that can help you edit those photos in order to make them more appealing. So some of the things that we do uh, with the Pure Romance brand is we try to focus on bright photos. That's kind of the personality of Pure Romance is bright. You're going to see a lot of pinks. You're going to see a lot of golds and sparkles and you want to make Make sure that they're uh, best to be well lit and they're kind of like aesthetic to the eye. You're drawn to it. It makes you want to stop and look at that post as you're just kind of scrolling through Instagram. And so the way that you can do this is through apps like editing apps and including in Instagram itself, you have the capability to edit the mm -hmm. photo as you're posting it. So if you don't have the space or perhaps you, you know, overwhelmed by an editing app, know that in Instagram, as soon as you upload a photo, you can start editing that photo to be posted. So, and it's really super simple. You can just follow the steps in this slide and then you'll be able to create a mm -hmm. little piece of uh, a little masterpiece for your business. But also keep in mind, you don't want to over edit your photos. Um, true, yeah. So that, just keep that in mind too. make it. You want it to still be, you know, like authentic, yeah. like you want it to be right. something that, so say if you posted a bottle of coochie and it was the sweet fantasy coochie and it's that white bottle with those black polka dots and it's really cute. And if you over edit it yeah. and the white starts to look maybe pink or orange yeah. and it doesn't look like the product that it originally is designed exactly. to look like, yeah. you might be like, well, I think that's a little over editing. Exactly. So in terms of editing those photos, if you're gonna go beyond Instagram instead of, and look to other places to create uh, and edit content from, we uh, suggest these kinds of four there's there's canva mm -hmm. a color story a color story is my favorite it's super super easy to use we use it all the time for our instagram for pure romances mm -hmm. really cool. and it's, it's free so is canva um snapsuite and visco so those are all really easy free apps that you can use or they have if you want to pay they have a, a plus version cool. that has a little bit more if you're looking for that too. Yeah. Well, and speaking of the Pure Romance Instagram page, you don't ever have to create your own content. You can just go to the Instagram page and steal it from there. Mm -hmm. So you just a matter of saving it to your phone or taking a screenshot and reposting exactly what Pure Romance posted. So you don't even have to do the legwork for it. And we have the captions already made for you too. So yeah, yeah. that's super, perfect. Yeah, super easy. No one, no one will know. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so what if you're the creative person and you're kind of like, well, maybe I want to just try it out just a little bit. Is there a resource for people who want to do it like a do-yourself Instagram? Absolutely. <laughs> so we did create a how to do your own Instagram photo shoot video. So it goes over um, lighting tips, app tips, um, how to arrange products. If you're doing a product post, what kind of posts you should be doing. So yeah, that is on the COO and um, it's a great resource if you're looking to kind of get a little bit creative and do your own photo shoot. Awesome. Okay, so we've edited our photo, we're about to post it, but now we have to come up with this caption. Yeah. Like it has Captions to be perfect, are the right? the hardest part, I think, honestly. <laughs> like you, know, you can do all of the edit, and all the editing and all the photo work, and then you get to this point where you're like, I need to make this caption something that is gonna be worthy of the clickable. If someone wants to do something as a result of it, I wanna, you know, you want someone to land on your photo and yeah. see the caption, then be driven to go to your website link or to book a party. So um, it's kind of critical. Yeah. It needs to be informative, <laughs> it needs to be catchy, and it also can't be too long because then you'll lose your audience. Mm -hmm. Drop an emoji below if you agree with that, you know, we have examples that we can show you that really show you a good way to use those features or for to give you someone a reason to click the link in your bio or whatever it may mm -hmm. be. Yeah. And I think the things you want to make sure that you're doing as you're posting these captions is start to kind of, um, and again, you can mirror what Pure Romance Corporate's already doing. So use a little bit of their language. We're usually really fun and we're light and we love an exclamation yeah. point and we love a good emoji too. Yeah. And we also want to make sure that our grammar and our punctuation and those things are all lined up. Because remember, you're a business owner and you're talking about your business. So you want to make sure that you're doing those things and being mindful of that. Because when you have this public business account, anyone can see your post, especially when you start using those things like hashtags um, and geotags. Right. So you just want to make sure that it's uh, that it is uh, a business professional yeah. in a sense. And this is really a good, another good place, just like your bio, to let your personality shine through and show if you're funny or you know, you're passionate about something, this is where you, where you can do that, so.
Yeah, so check out these examples of what Pure Romance has done on their Instagram page. So everything is kind of created in our own, um, like in studio. So these are fun things that we've created uh, with just some of the products yeah. and just some of our own staff here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really fun. And make sure you check out these comments too, or the captions. Yeah. Um, we love those emojis. We're asking for insight. Yeah. Um, you can always go to our page and just for examples, um, and you can see from there how to best engage with people. if you're if you're looking for more resources. Mm -hmm. And so I think one of the things that you mentioned earlier is huge. So you want to post something, you want to ask a question maybe in one of your captions that gets your users or potential audience to start commenting. Um, and that's something that's huge. So I think one of the things that you want to do is, and don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of crickets or be afraid of silence. One of the huge things with social media is getting consistent in the behavior of building relationships. It's not going to happen immediately, right? Because you're Because what you're doing is essentially Actually, uh, breaking down what an in-person conversation would be like over the course of a, of a, a handful of Instagram mm -hmm. posts. So uh, when you think of those, it's kind of just like, all right, I love Coochie. Coochie's our number one product. Tell me which one is your favorite scent mm -hmm. in the comments below. And by do creating these call to actions, you're also, you're pushing for engagement. And that's really what we're going for here. Engagement is so, so important because when people engage with you, if they like your post, if they comment on it, that's what's gonna get you discovered by other people. It's gonna exactly. get, that's gonna get you in the explore page that's going to get what's going to get more people to come to your page is creating that initial engagement mm -hmm. and that call to action. Okay, so one of the easiest ways to get one of those call to actions and to get that audience to start weighing in on everything that you're posting is this hashtag, right? Yeah. It's the hashtag thing yeah. that we love to talk about. Yeah. So when we talk about hashtags, basically think of it kind of as like a mini library, right? right? So it's somewhere where if you use a hashtag, so for example, you see on a lot of our posts, we hashtag pure romance, hashtag do life different, hashtag girls night, yeah. things like that. And you can think of them as like mini file cabinets where if you go on your Instagram and you hit the search button at the bottom, you can search for a type of word. Like you can look up pure romance or you can look up parties and you'll start to see everyone that's ever used that hashtag and what they've posted in that underneath it. So then now you're kind of in this like little library and your or all of your posts are organized. And so people can start to see whoever posts about parties or girls night or a girls night in. Or Which is how we find a lot of your guys' content. When, yeah. we're looking, when you guys hashtag pure romance on your posts, that, that's how we see what you guys are doing with your business. So, um, like she said, it's creating that library and it's also putting, if we, we always hashtag pure romance because that's, that's our brand. And mm -hmm. We have certain hashtags that work for our brand or with whatever we're posting, whether it's an opportunity post, a party post, a product post, it's a quote. There's different hashtags for the different kinds of posts that you're putting out there. Yeah. You want to make sure that they're, they're relevant to what you're posting too. You don't want to just hashtag random things that yes. might have nothing to do with what you're posting. Yeah. And then some of the things that you can do, a little trick to hashtag is you can discover the trending hashtags. So by day, there might be kind of different topics and if they feel like they're relevant to your business. So, uh, and think of it in the lens of, you wanna be specific. So if you're looking at hashtag love, it's probably gonna be just swimming with posts about people There's and probably love. probably a hundred million hashtags. Yeah, right? In that, I don't in even, that category. Yeah, so. exactly. But if you're looking at Girls Night In, you're going to start to see probably things that are more specific to uh, people who are looking for ideas for Girls Night In, theme parties, anything like that. And so what happens with that is if you find something that's trending, so that's something that's, that means that it's already a hot hashtag. There's lots of people posting to it, lots of people talking about it. Get in on it, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. you're going to use, you're going to post something that day and you're going to decide to use that hashtag. Again, just try and make sure that it's relevant so you can get on the trend of that day. Yeah. Um, so an important thing to remember in, ha in a hashtag is if you're using a multiple wor like word hashtag, don't put a, you, it's no spaces. So okay. it's just hashtag pure romance, yeah. one word. Perfect. Or hashtag do life different, all one word. Um, also, don't go overboard on the yeah. hashtags. <laughs> um, I'd keep it to maybe... 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. um, I think you can get up to 30. You can 30. get up to 30, but I, there is, there is a, such thing as too many hashtags <laughs> and you can actually get penalized on Instagram oh, no. um, from using too many <laughs> hashtags or using hashtags that are not relevant to, to your brand. Yeah. So, um, 
And then the other thing that you can do is there's something called geotags. So geotags are, think of them as this hashtag, a kind of a way to organize your posts and your information. But what it does is it's kind of also that trending hashtag feature in the sense of what you can do is when you post a photo, you can pick a location. And so you'll see step-by-step -step instructions for this. Um, check out the image. So you'll pick a location uh, and it'll be, it, what will happen is that your GPS is gonna pick up what's nearby or what's going on. And oftentimes if you think about, if you're at an event or if you're at an expo or if you're really kind of within a, at a restaurant or somewhere you can post about whatever it is about your business and then put that geotag that location on there add that location to your post and then when people search that location they'll be able to see pre previous posts that have been shared there and they'll be able to see your image mm -hmm. so this is really awesome I think if you talk about events if you yeah. think about um, if I'm going out and promoting my business somewhere or maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm out at Starbucks and I'm working on on, um, I'm working on just uh, onboarding calls or party planning and I just say you know just catching up on work and then I tag the geotag location of the Starbucks that I'm at and if people start to look they'll be like oh this I can work from Starbucks yeah maybe I can uh, maybe yeah. I can try this pure romance yeah. business right so there's things like that that can happen just by using the geotags mm -hmm. which yeah. is really fun yes so it's huge that everything that we've talked about today you're doing it consistently so that's kind of like this post engage, repeat. Yeah. So just kind of like when you think about book, sell, share, repeat with pure romance in your business, when it comes to social media, it's like post, engage, repeat. And I think that engage thing is huge, right? So just because you're posting content doesn't mean that you're doing it all just yet. It's that interaction. Once you start to see people comment or people like, you need to kind of return the favor. It's kind of like this, exactly. the law of yeah. reciprocity, right? We, mm -hmm. we want to we wanna return the favor for other people so that in turn, eventually it builds this relationship with our right. business. So don't, yeah, don't be so yeah, it's great that people are engaging with you, but like she said, you need to return the favor. And that's also another way to get discovered by other people is you can use those hashtags and those geotags and the things that we talked about to discover other people and, and engage with those people who are posting things similar to you. Mm -hmm. So, or go to a brand that you like and see the people that are engaging with that brand and then maybe follow a few people from there or mm -hmm. go to their p profiles and like or comment on their posts propose because yeah. if you engage with other people they're going to come back and engage with you I love so yeah. that's also really important to do you don't want to just be like expect people to come to you if you're not going to go out and engage with other people also and so a lot of this is coming from just like the spirit of being authentic yeah. so it's building these connections again and also it's it's about being genuine in your post yeah. so and then when you think about posts this is where you want to make sure that so if you think about posting and all of the content and everything we've talked about, you want to post about once a day, but try not to post more than once a day. We don't want to see multiple posts because then people might just be kind of conditioned to not be as interested in your post because you're sharing multiple right. things. But if you do have the desire to post multiple things, that's where you can start to use the Instagram stories feature, which, we, which we've created a separate training right. about. And to go off of that, if you, the, if you post too many times a day, you're going to get lost in the, in the Instagram algorithm. So you might get less engagement across the board because you're posting two, three, four times a day. Yeah. And then when you could just post one time a day or twice a day at most and get more engagement on those one or two posts rather than less engagement on your five posts that you posted in one day. Exactly. So what we're saying here is that engagement equals mm -hmm. connections, yes. connections equal trust, and trust equals more business for you. And that's why we're talking about Instagram today, why it's a hot tool for you to use, how you can use it with your business. So we're gonna kind of keep this Instagram conversation going in a second video. It's gonna be uh, the Instagram stories video. So make sure that you get a chance to check that out and learn how to use that feature to grow your business. Other than that, thanks for joining us on Social Media Decoded, Instagram. Yeah, we'll see you next time.